back in Spokane at the Rocket Bakery. It's a neighborhood coffee house that's been serving up fresh coffee and baked goods for more than 20 years. I love that it's local and a fun place to get together with people and just feel like you're part of a small town community. I have to say the very lemon tart is my absolute favorite. I could probably just take it and put it on my face. <laughs> Owner Julia Polstawade and her husband opened the rocket when they moved to town and came up empty while searching for some good coffee paired with local treats. You have several different little spots around town, but what is the collective atmosphere of Rocket Bakery? A uh, small coffee house. Uh, we want to have really great coffee and, and drinks and then awesome pastries. So that's been our bedrock kind of is just awesome coffee, great pastries in a neighborhood where everybody can come in and just be comfortable. Now we're going in the kitchen and Julie is teaching me how to make a pear tart. So the first thing we need to do is make our poaching liquid. So um, we've got when you're whenever it's just for us. Well, I do have an extra bottle. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. but uh, you always want to have um, when you're cooking with wine, you want a wine that you would want to drink. And yes. good advice. Because that's <laughs> very important. So we have a Riesling here. Um, it pairs really well with pears. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to um, put the whole darn bottle in here. The whole I've... bottle. Okay. Magic. Next, we add some sugar, a cinnamon stick, some vanilla paste, and lemon juice. And so we just want this to come to a boil. It will dissolve all the sugar and um, be ready for our pears to bathe in. Ooh. Then we peel and core our pears and place them in the liquid. And then we'll just turn it down and let her just simmer away now for at least a half an hour. As the pears simmer, we start making the crust. So we're gonna get our wow. flour in there. Okay. And then um, this is a bit of sugar and salt. And then our butter. We blend it all together and add an egg yolk. So we, we don't need it to come completely together okay. because we're just gonna sort of crumble it out and push it in. Push it in, okay. So sometimes I think rolling crusts really stress people out. So. <laughs> You're looking at one of them. <laughs> so the, the nice thing with this, you don't have a top and stuff, uh, is that just pushing it out yeah. just makes it. So then we want to just sort of push it up the edge just okay. a little bit. We set the crust aside and start making the filling. First, we grind up a cup of toasted almonds. Then we add some sugar and flour and mix it together. Then we're going to add um, our butter. And I will, yeah, I'll do that. And that up. we need to add one egg. In here, we have um, a little almond extract and some uh, dark rum. That's a Yum. good addition. We'll put that in there. Yeah. Now we're going to just process this till it's completely smooth. Once the mixture is blended, we spread it over the crust. Next, we slice our poached pears. We're just going to cut each one in about, you know, quarter inch. And the pears still, they have some firmness to them mm -hmm. still. They're not Yeah, uh, they're not super falling soft. Apart. So then we've just cut it, so then we're just going to slide our uh, spatula, so mm -hmm. you can use pretty much any kind of spatula. And then we're just going to give it a little slide. Okay, and then you just slide it right off your spatula, right onto your tart. Wow. We finish slicing the remaining pears and place them on our tart. Then cook it for 30 minutes. Got our, have... our tart out of the oven. Um, and so I've taken the poaching liquid and we've reduced it. So um, it's created this really lovely um, Glaze. Oh it looks like honey. Yeah. Our last step is to spread the glaze on the pears. And now it's time for the best part, the tasting. Here is to Washington pears. Yes. I love it. Those pears are delicious. Perfect. Are you going to make one for Thanksgiving? I think I will. Excellent. Actually, I can do it. I Absolutely. know I can do it. You can do Thanks it. Thanks to you. <laughs> Thank you. This is so good.